Hey guys, today we are going to talk about lashes. Everything lashes. I've got four different mascaras here I want to go over with you guys. And then I'm also going to talk about eyelash extensions, which I am wearing today. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is mascara. Because I don't wear a lot of makeup. I'm not big into a lot of base or blushes or eyeshadow or liners. I mean, I do wear that stuff, but I'm a mom. I'm a very busy mom. So every day it's not something that I wear. I don't put on a full face of makeup every single day. So a good mascara, a good lip gloss, and a good bronzer. I'm good to go. So I want to talk about my favorite things today, which is mascara, or one of the favorite things. Um, okay, so what we're going to start off with is one of my favorites, Maybelline Mega Plush. This stuff's awesome. It's actually a gel, and it's real thick. You guys can see the brush and see on the end how thick it is there. It's awesome, and it does not flake. I mean, if you're going to sleep in it for three days, yeah, you'll probably get a little bit of flakage. But no, right off the bat, it does not flake um, like a lot of the mascaras out there do. I really, really like it. It goes on nice and thick since it is a gel. They do have it in waterproof and regular. I don't ever use waterproof. Um, but if you need a good plumper, this is it for you. I mean, it's awesome. <laughs> Wait, just throw it. Okay, so we're done with that one. All right, the next one is Rimmel Glam Eyes. This one is not as thick as the gel, you'll see the brush is really, really fine. Really fine, and so is the mascara. So if you're looking for light coverage, just kind of a whimsical look, then this is it for you. It's really, really fine. I did not have a problem with this uh, flaking either, um, or clumping. Uh, back to the one that I just threw on the floor, my favorite. Um, it can have a tendency to clump, so uh, have an extra brush on hand just to kind of brush it out and then it's not a problem. It just, it's so thick because it's that gel that it can clump, but it doesn't flake. And that is the one thing that I can't stand when you get all those little speckles under your eyes. It's not a good look. Okay, so anyway, this one's good. It's just finer. Uh, maybe if you don't want to look like you're wearing mascara, this one would be a good one for you. And I do believe they have this in waterproof. Okay, the next one is Old Faithful Maybelline Great Lash. This stuff is awesome. I know it's old school and it's a cheap mascara, but it works. It's a great go-to mascara when you, I mean, I always have one of these around. But as a side note, this is pretty much the only mascara, at least that I find, that you can wear with false lashes. It doesn't hurt them at all. So keep a tube of this around in case you're going to get extensions because this is the only one that you're allowed to use with those extensions. At least with mine, that's what you're supposed to use. And we'll get into the extensions here in a little bit. But great lash. I mean, it's just, it's just a good one to keep. I mean, it's been around for like 80 years. <laughs> just kidding, it's not been around for 80 years, but it feels like it. Okay, this one, this beautiful little baby that I love, I love, love, love the bottle. It is Scandalous Eyes by Rimmel. It's not a good mascara. I love the brush. See how it has a little bubble on the end? That's really, really cool. It flakes like crazy. I mean, literally, I had this on for an hour, and I had flakes under my eyes. So needless to say, this is a brand new tube. I have not really used it. I mean, it was almost $9, so I don't want to throw it away, but it's definitely not my favorite. Um, as far as coverage goes, it's great. It's nice and thick. I really, really like a thick uh, mascara, but I just don't like the flaking. So this one, great tube, great coverage, but it flakes, so... No. Okay. Next thing, eyelash extensions. So I just started getting my eyelashes done, and I have to say I'm thrilled with them. I absolutely love them. If any of you guys are out there thinking about getting eyelash extensions, I highly recommend it. Um, I don't suffer from allergies, but I know a few of my friends that do, and they, when they go ahead and get their extensions, they use a, a sensitive glue. So just ask your... Um, lady, whoever is going to do them, that see if she has that sensitive glue and it's hyperallergenic and it's just better for people with allergies or sensitive eyes. I highly recommend using that type of glue. I use the regular glue, which is, um, it's just a black semi-permanent glue, I believe. Um, and they are individual lashes. And so she takes each individual hair and then glues them on to my lashes. So, um, you can wear mascara with them. If you do, you have to use this one, Old Faithful. Um, so right now all I have on is mascara on my bottom lashes, and then I have extensions on the top. Mine are size 10, uh, 11s, sorry. Uh, they go 10, 11, 12, I think they go all the way up to 14, I'm sure you can find them even longer. Um, a lot of the times they'll do like 
one size all in, like say 11s here and then 12s on the end. Um, I didn't want to go too long. I didn't want it to look too fake. So I just went with 11s and I'm really happy with 11s. Um, I have lost a few since I had my fill, which has been about two weeks. So this, this is probably short five lashes on each eye. And I'll give you guys a close up here in a minute, but um, they last about four weeks, four to five weeks for me because I don't wear a lot of eye makeup. Um, if you do, that's fine. You just have to use a oil free um, eye makeup remover and just lightly take them off. When I do wear makeup, I use a Q-tip and kind of just go around. Um, like I said, I don't use mascara on the top, so I don't ever have to really rub my lashes. I, I would stay, stay away from rubbing them really too hard because you don't want to pull off any of the extensions. Um, I know that extensions can range anywhere, range anywhere from a full set from $100. I've even seen them up to $250 and um, anywhere from $40 to $50 bucks for a fill. So I know it's a huge range. It's really just going to depend on where you live and who does them. Um, but I really, really like them. It's been awesome not having to wear mascara as much. And um, I'm trying to think if that's everything. I haven't had any problems. I mean, my eyes aren't sensitive. Uh, after you get them done and you get up and walk off, you can't even tell that you had anything done. You should not be able to tell that you had anything done. Um, if your eyes are feeling really sticky or you're feeling like um, burning, be really careful with that because the fumes from the glue are really strong. So you want to keep your eyes shut until they're finished gluing uh, or fin finished drying. And then, um, so at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a close up. Just remember, mine are about five lashes short right about now because I think I've lost a few since the two weeks ago when I had my fill. Um, but I love them. If you're thinking about doing them, I highly, highly recommend it. Just make sure you find someone in your area that's got really, really good um, referrals. Make sure she's got, she knows what she's doing because these are your eyes. You want to make sure that you're going with a good person. So I'm going to go ahead and get up to the left, get up to the lens. I don't know if you'll be able to see them very good, but <laughs> hi. <laughs> you can see that the glue is black, so they don't show up, and that's them. Hope you can see. It's kind of hard. I'm doing all these movies on my um, on my Mac, so I can't really zoom zoom too much. But anyway, hope you guys get the idea. Hope you like it. Hope you go out and get beautiful lashes. And if you do, leave me um, a comment. Let me know how much you love them. And if there's any other questions that I left out that um, I didn't answer for you, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll make sure I do. All right, guys, keep smiling and have a great day.